Hi, hello, welcome back. So today we are with a new video content. So let me introduce myself before entering into the video. Danya here. You're watching Learn with Danya, and uh, we are mainly into medical coding training as well as with placements. If you are looking for CPC certification training or basic training and placement, you can please register with us. We will guide you properly. So today's video is all about disease of genital urinary system ICD 10 CM guidelines 2025. In this guidelines we will be clearly uh, discussing about all the conditions which are related to the genital urinary system and how the guideline is implemented there. Um, when uh, you uh, see this genital urinary system guidelines no it's it's very easy only two or three guidelines is there so it is very easy to understand as well as very easy to follow also so watch the video completely don't skip the video in between before that uh, please make a note of all the guidelines whichever i'm posting so that it will be really helpful for you at the time of uh, practicing for your cpc exam as well as if you're preparing for your interview also it will be really helpful so if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe my channel and if you find it useful please do share it with your friends also so come let's enter into the ppt and um, wish you all the best uh, if you're preparing for your cpc exam or if you're preparing for your interview wish you all the best anyways we'll enter into the video so thank you continue with the ppt hi hello welcome back so today we'll be seeing about chapter 14 disease of genito urinary system code series n00-n99 i am so happy that we have completed almost um, chapter till chapter 13 and a few more guidelines are left out so if you're watching my channel for the first time please do subscribe and if you find it useful share it with your friends don't skip the video in between watch it continuously so starting with ckd that is chronic kidney disease first we have to know the stages of ckd to code the ckd stages are based on the severity totally we have five stages stage one till stage five stage one is considered as normal stage two is considered as mild stage three is considered as moderate stage four is severe stage five and six are considered as esrd esrd is end stage renal disease stage 5 is esrd without dialysis and stage 6 is esrd with dialysis so if a patient have ckd and kidney transplant status first we have to code for ckd with stage second you have to code for kidney transplant status third since uh, transplantation is happening third you have to check whether the patient is having any sort of complication if complication is present third you have to code for complication next comes ckd with other conditions when coding for ckd with other condition it is important to follow the guideline for example first you have to know all the um, ckd codes stage one till stage six codes and then you have to see like uh, with what condition ckd is happening so based on the other conditions uh, the ckd codes will be arranged for example hypertension and ckd when a patient is diagnosed with hypertension and ckd here we will be giving the combination code that is i12 hypertension with ckd and second you will be coding for ckd with the stage so here ckd will be assigned as a secondary code hypertension with ckd the combination code will be assigned as a primary code here next is ckd and diabetes when ckd is due to diabetes we should code diabetes uh, e08 to e13 should be used to represent the type of diabetes uh, so icd combination code that um, diabetes mellitus due to ckd e08.22 sequencing is based on the appropriate diabetes code should be sequenced first followed by the stages of ckd third comes ckd with heart failure when ckd is present with heart failure both conditions should be coded for hypertensy heart and ckd a combination code is there that is i13 will be used and additional code from heart failure will be coded that is from i50 series This is a very easy and interesting topic. Next comes CKD with other condition. If CKD is documented with other conditions such as gout, lupus, nephritis or other kidney related condition, we should follow the appropriate ICD-10 code for the conditions followed with the stages of CKD. So it's a kind request uh, in your notebook, write down all the guidelines and keep and whenever you get time, please do go through it so that uh, 
you will have a proper understanding so when you are preparing for your cpc exam or if you are preparing for your interview this guideline will be really helpful for you to study and practice so thank you so much for watching keep watching for further updates of the guidelines and if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe and share it with your friends also thank you so much take care wish you all the best take care bye bye